g'day everyone welcome back do you want to see something cool i'm actually outside in my backyard and i thought i'd show you i've got a macadamia nut tree it's only a young tree but it's finally got a decent crop of nuts for the first time this year can you see them all hanging down and what actually happens is when they get mature enough they'll start to fall from the tree onto the ground and uh, my kids and I love coming out and collecting them it's really fun and we usually crack them open when they're ready to eat with a hammer macadamia nuts are pretty expensive they're something like $50 a kilo something ridiculous at the supermarket so to have our own is absolutely amazing so I'm going to have a, a free and frugal snack this afternoon. I've come outside and I'm going to try and pick up some macadamia nuts to crack. And you can eat them fresh or you can even roast them in the oven if you want to do something else with them. But yeah, I'm going to pick some up now. So come and we'll collect a few. I'll see if I can show you. If you have a look down here... So you'll see under the tree, um, there's quite a few that have fallen off already and they just fall onto the ground. And when they first fall off, they're usually still green. And when they're green on the outer husk, like this one here, this one's not ready to be eaten. Uh, you're best to leave them, you'll see as they get drier, the outer husk starts to crack. And it will start to change colour. They go from a green to like a brownie colour like this. And eventually when they're fully dried out, they'll actually come away from the outer husk. And usually by about that stage, inside the hard nutshell, the nut itself will have come away from the inner wall and you'll be able to crack them open really easily. And yeah, usually a good, good stage to start eating usually when you shake them they should make a bit of a noise some of these might still be a little bit um, need a little bit longer to go but i'm going to see if i can pick up a few now and hopefully have a a yummy snack so not a bad first harvest of nuts this actually i probably should have got a bucket not a bowl there's more in the grass there can you see there's quite a few more so i'll have to come back out and pick up some more in a moment but I've got a whole bowl full of macadamia nuts which is so great so I'm going to see if I can crack some now for afternoon tea so yes that's my macadamia nut tree and all the macadamia nuts so pretty cool well I think so anyway anything you can grow yourself I always think is a help and helps out with the food let me know in the comments what you like to grow do you have some fruit trees too? Are you trying to grow some of your own veggies maybe? I did actually go to my local food bank um, today. It's late in the afternoon on a Friday here in Australia. And I've got a food bank haul to share with you all. So I'll give you a closer look at what I was fortunate enough to pick up this week. If you're new to my videos, this is a food bank that's run by a local church in my area. It's one where you pay $10 and they give you a box of grocery items and along with the groceries they also give you usually a loaf of bread, uh, some fruit and vegetables depending on what's in season and also things like sometimes there's eggs or cold items, frozen meals. Uh, it usually works out to be fantastic value for the money. Anyone in the local community is able to go to this particular food bank. Uh, anyone that needs a helping hand is able to utilise it. I really like going to it because I feel it helps us out quite a bit with um, our grocery budget at the moment. So I'll give you a closer look at what I was lucky enough to get this week. First of all, I've got a packet of spirals, which is always great to get. I like the spiral pasta myself personally. My kids do too. Uh, we've got a packet of spaghetti, again handy. We love spaghetti in our house. Uh, there was some different canned items like we get most weeks. There's some spaghetti in cheesy cheddar sauce this week. 
and there's some baked beans which is fantastic to get a can of diced tomatoes great for bolognese it says some corn kernels my favorite here some baby peas i did actually find out when i used the the can we got last week these ones are actually made in france which i thought was pretty cool they were really nice and when i opened them up i thought wow they're really tiny I, and then i read the label again of course it's baby peas not just <laughs> regular sized peas but they were delicious so that's really cool to get them again. We've got a jar of bolognese pasta sauce. And another one of these pizza sauces. This was really good to get the other week. And we did use it and make, I, um, I think, uh, Roberta, thank you for your idea about making pizzas using the, the mini muffins that we got. So we did actually end up doing that and it turned out really good. So I might be able to yesterday on Thursday with some of the bread items I got from that other pantry in my area make some bigger pizzas using the pizza sauce I think this time. And this week we got two soup mixes. There's a packet of French onion soup which is great and a chicken flavoured noodle soup also good to get. And there was a couple of different snack items, some chickadees, chicken flavoured snacks, just a little packet. And there was two of these protein bars, Sam's Pantry, roasted hazelnut with dark chocolate, it says. It sounds pretty good. Packed with nuts and seeds. So yum. I like anything chocolatey and nutty. <laughs> So awesome. The kids, the kids will probably like those. And there was also a one kilogram bag of long grain rice, which is very helpful, very handy to get. And this week we got two barista almond milks for the long life milks. We love getting those ones. They're really nice. And the cereal for the week, a box of corn flakes. These are healthy ones <laughs> only four ingredients it says it's free from gluten wheat dairy and nuts so let's have a look what's left in it it's made in switzerland and it's got corn sugar salt and emulsifier there you go so that'll be good my kids like cornflakes so they'll be nice to eat on the weekend for breakfast I find um, if I can get the cereal in the long life milk, that's almost $10 um, when you go to the supermarket. And everything else to me is sort of like a bonus because I would have had to go to the supermarket to buy that anyway. So if I can get the extra food as well, it really does make it that much better value and um, yeah, definitely worth getting. And I find if you go and get it each week as well, uh, some weeks are better than other weeks. It just depends what goes in the box and what's donated and what they've got available. Uh, I find if you go, try and go, well, I try and do go most weeks. That way, if there's a week where you don't get too much and then there's another week where you get oodles and oodles of things, <laughs> it seems to balance out in the long run. And some things like the rice and the pasta do carry over week to week. So that way you've got a, a larger variety over time if you go most weeks. So that, that's just my theory anyway, but <laughs> it seems to work for us. Now with the cold items this week, we got two of the beef and vegetable hot pots with pasta. So this one's got diced beef, salt, <laughs> cabbage, zucchini, curry powder, pumpkin, potato, carrots, bay leaves, Salt, chili flakes and pasta. You can sort of see the pasta. So that's great to get. So there's two of those. And we've got another packet of these very yummy crispy broccoli florets again. So they must have a large amount of these at the big um, food bank that the smaller charities get the food from at the moment. 
but no complaints from us. We're loving these, so that's great to get that. Uh, there was also two pies. Oh, they look like some type of meat pie. These ones are donated from the local bakery. And also from the bakery, there's some, I think it's ham and pineapple pizza, mini sort of pizzas. These ones are frozen, all of these, oh, and obviously this one. Even actually the loaf of bread is frozen too. So there was a loaf of white sandwich bread, which is great. And then in the fruit and veggie department, <laughs> we've got a small selection this week. We've got three potatoes, four onions, there's two oranges, another one of these star fruit that I got the other week, and another one of these beautiful chocos. Uh, there was also two mandarins. We've got four tomatoes. One's a Roma one and just some other normal round tomatoes. Two little apples and then three carrots. So there you go. That was everything I got this Friday. And that's going to be a big help to my family. If you've got any recipe ideas or suggestions, you think that might be good with some of the stuff I've got today, even perhaps combined with some of the things I picked up on Thursday, let me know in the comments. I'm always open to suggestions. And I have taken on board um, your feedback as well, that you'd love to see some of my cooking and some recipes or what I come up with using stuff I get from the food bank. So hopefully in the future, you might see some recipes from me as well. So stay tuned. I've got lots of different ideas. It's just finding the time <laughs> to do it all. So ho hopefully, um, yeah, in the future, you'll see some different videos like that as well. In the meantime, hope you have a lovely weekend, everybody. And thanks again for watching. Take care.